dear friends. Today, I want to talk to you about something that touches the very core of our lives. The struggles, the pain, the worries, and the uncertainties we face every single day. Life is full of challenges, and sometimes it feels like we are carrying the weight of the world on our shoulders. But I want to assure you, from the depths of my heart, that God is ready to work it out for you. You just need to leave it to Him. I know it's not easy. We are taught to be self-reliant, to solve our own problems, to be strong and independent. But there comes a time when our strength fails, when our wisdom falls short, and when our best efforts just aren't enough. It's in these moments of vulnerability that we must remember. We are not alone. God is with us, and He is ready to step in and work it out for us. Think about those nights when you lie awake, your mind racing with worries about your family, your job, your health, or your future. Think about those moments when you feel overwhelmed, when the anxiety is so intense that you can hardly breathe. In those moments, I want you to take a deep breath and remind yourself that God is in control. He sees your tears, He knows your fears, and He understands your struggles. You might be wondering, how can I leave it to God? How can I trust Him to handle my problems? It starts with a simple but powerful decision to let go. Let go of the need to control everything. Let go of the fear of the unknown. Let go of the doubt that whispers, what if God doesn't come through? Trust me. Friends, God will come through. He always does, in ways we might not expect, but always in ways that are best for us. I want you to picture a beautiful tapestry, woven with intricate patterns and vibrant colors. From the front, it's a masterpiece, but if you look at the back, it's a mess of tangled threads and knots. Our lives are like that tapestry. We often see only the messy side, the struggles and the pain. But God sees the masterpiece. He is weaving our lives together with purpose and love, even if we can't see it right now. When we surrender our problems to God, we are not giving up. We are not admitting defeat. We are simply acknowledging that we need help from the one who is all powerful, all knowing and ever loving. We are saying, God, I trust you. I know you have a plan for me, and I believe you will work this out for my good. And it's not just about trusting God with the big things. It's about trusting Him with the small things too. The everyday worries, the minor annoyances, the little stresses that add up and weigh us down. God cares about every detail of our lives. He invites us to cast all our cares on Him because He cares for us. Imagine the peace that comes from truly letting go and letting God. Imagine the freedom of not having to carry the burden alone. When we release our worries into God's hands, we make room for His peace to fill our hearts. We make room for His joy to uplift our spirits. We make room for His strength to empower us. Friends, I want you to take a moment and reflect on what is weighing you down today. What is the burden you are carrying that you need to surrender to God? Is it a relationship that is causing you pain? Is it a financial situation that seems hopeless? Is it a health issue that fills you with fear? Whatever it is, God is ready to work it out for you. But surrendering to God doesn't mean we sit back and do nothing. It means we do what we can, and then we trust God to do what we cannot. It means we take steps of faith, knowing that God will guide our path. It means we pray with expectation, knowing that God hears us and will answer in His perfect timing. Let me share a story with you. There was a man who was going through a very difficult time in his life. He had lost his job. His marriage was falling apart, and he was battling depression. He felt like he had hit rock bottom, 
and didn't know how to climb out of the pit he was in. One day, he decided to go for a walk to clear his mind. As he walked, he cried out to God, I can't do this anymore. I need your help. In that moment of desperation, he felt a sense of peace wash over him. It was as if God was saying to him, I've got this. Leave it to me. He didn't have all the answers, but he felt a renewed sense of hope. He started to take small steps towards rebuilding his life trusting that God was with him every step of the way. And you know what? Things started to change. He found a new job that he loved. His marriage began to heal as he and his wife sought counseling and worked through their issues. His depression lifted as he found support in his community and deepened his relationship with God. It wasn't an overnight miracle but was a journey of faith and trust in God's goodness. This man's story is a testament to what can happen when we leave our problems to God. It's a reminder that no matter how hopeless things may seem, God is always working behind the scenes for our good. He's always ready to step in and turn things around, if only we will let Him. So, dear friends, I urge you today to make that decision. Whatever you are facing, Whatever is troubling your heart, leave it to God. Trust Him to work it out for you. He is faithful, and He will not let you down. He will turn your mourning into dancing, your sorrow into joy, and your despair into hope. Dear friends, I want to emphasize something deeply important. The act of leaving our problems to God is not a one-time decision. It's a daily practice a continuous journey of faith. Every morning when you wake up, remind yourself to trust God with your day. Every night before you sleep, release your worries into His loving hands. Life will still bring its challenges. There will still be moments of doubt, fear, and frustration. But when we make it a habit to turn to God in every situation, we build a foundation of trust that can withstand any storm. We learn to see beyond the immediate difficulties and focus on the bigger picture of God's plan for our lives. Think about the people in your life who inspire you. They are not perfect, and they have faced their own share of struggles. What sets them apart is their faith, their unwavering belief that God is with them. And for them, they have learned to surrender their problems to God. And in doing so, they have found peace and strength. You can be that person too. You can be a source of inspiration and hope to others by showing them what it looks like to trust God completely. Your life can be a testimony of God's faithfulness and love. When others see you navigating your challenges with grace and confidence, they will be encouraged to do the same. Let me share another story this time about a woman named Sarah. Sarah was a single mother, working two jobs to make ends meet. She was constantly worried about how she would provide for her children, how she would pay the bills, and how she would find the time to take care of herself. The weight of responsibility was almost too much to bear. One day, Sarah decided to attend a church service. She hadn't been to church in years, but something inside her urged her to go. That day, the pastor spoke about trusting God with our burdens and leaving our problems in His hands. Sarah felt like the message was meant just for her. She went home that night, knelt by her bed, and poured out her heart to God. She told Him about her fears, her worries, and her exhaustion. And then she did something she had never done before. She left it all with God. From that day forward, Sarah's life began to change. She still faced the same challenges, but she no longer faced them alone. She felt a renewed sense of peace and strength, knowing that God was with her. She started to see small miracles in her life. Unexpected financial help, support from friends and family, and opportunities for a better job. Each time she saw God's hand at work, her faith grew stronger. Sarah's story is a reminder 
that when we leave our problems to God, He doesn't just take the burden away. He also gives us the strength and wisdom to navigate through them. He opens doors we never thought possible and provides in ways we never imagined. He turns our worries into opportunities for His grace to shine. Now, I want to speak directly to those of you who feel like you are at the end of your rope. Maybe you've been struggling for a long time and you feel like giving up. Maybe you've tried to trust God before, but the weight of your problems keeps pulling you down. I want you to know that God sees you. He knows exactly what you are going through and He is ready to step in. It's never too late to leave your problems to God. It's never too late to trust Him with your life, no matter how big or small your worries are. God cares about them all. He is not distant or indifferent. He is right there with you, ready to help, ready to comfort, ready to work it out for you. Take a moment right now to pause and reflect. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath and bring to mind the problems that are weighing you down. Picture yourself, handing them over to God one by one. Feel the weight lift off your shoulders as you release each burden into His hands. And as you do, let His peace fill your heart. Remember, leaving your problems to God is an act of faith. It means trusting Him even when you can't see the outcome. It means believing in His goodness, even when circumstances are tough. It means holding on to hope, even when everything around you feels hopeless. In the days ahead, I encourage you to make a habit of surrendering your worries to God. Start your day with a prayer of trust and end your day with a prayer of gratitude. Surround yourself with reminders of God's faithfulness, whether it's through reading inspirational books, listening to uplifting music, or spending time with supportive friends. And most importantly, don't isolate yourself. Reach out to others for support and encouragement. We are all in this together, and we are stronger when we lean on each other. Share your struggles with those you trust and let them pray with you and for you. Let their faith bolster your own. Beloved, I want to leave you with a final thought. Imagine your life as a journey, a path that you are walking on. Along this path, there are moments of joy and moments of sorrow, times of ease and times of struggle. But through it all, God is walking beside you. He knows the way ahead and He is guiding your steps. Whenever you feel lost or overwhelmed, remember to turn to Him. Leave your problems at His feet and trust Him to lead you. He is your shepherd, your guide, and your friend. He will never leave you, nor forsake you. He is ready to work it out for you. Just leave it to Him. Dear friends, I understand that trusting God with your problems can be challenging. It's natural to feel the need to hold on to control, to solve things on our own. But think of it this way. Trusting God is not about giving up. It's about letting go of what you can't handle and allowing Him to take the lead. It's about walking hand in hand with the one who knows you better than anyone else and who has your best interests at heart. Imagine standing at the edge of a vast ocean with waves crashing at your feet. The ocean represents God's infinite power and love. Your problems, no matter how big they may seem, are like small pebbles compared to the vastness of the ocean. When you throw your pebbles into the ocean, they disappear into the depths, carried away by the powerful currents. This is what happens when you give your problems to God. His power and love are more than enough to handle anything you face. I want you to envision your life as a beautiful garden. Sometimes weeds of worry, fear, and doubt can overrun it, choking out the flowers of peace, joy, and hope. But when you invite God to be the gardener of your life, He carefully tends to your garden. He removes the weeds, 
waters the flowers, and brings forth new growth. Your garden flourishes under his care, and you begin to see the beauty that was hidden beneath the overgrowth. Think about the times when you have felt a sense of peace in the midst of chaos. Those moments are glimpses of God's presence and his promise to take care of you. They are reminders that even when the world feels overwhelming, you can find solace in his embrace. I know there are moments when the darkness seems too thick, when the weight of your problems feels unbearable. In those moments, remember that God is the light that pierces through the darkness. He is the strength that lifts the weight off your shoulders. He is the hope that keeps you going when you feel like you can't take another step. There's a story of a man who found himself lost in a dense forest. Night was falling, and he was filled with fear and uncertainty. He stumbled upon a small cabin with a single light flickering inside. The light gave him hope and guided him to safety. That light is like God's presence in our lives. No matter how lost or afraid you feel, His light is always there to guide you home. As you journey through life, you will encounter crossroads and obstacles. There will be times when you don't know which path to take or how to overcome the hurdles before you. In those moments, take a pause, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and ask God for guidance. He will illuminate the path before you and give you the wisdom to navigate your way. Remember, you are never alone. Even in your darkest hours, God is with you. His love surrounds you, His grace sustains you, and His strength empowers you. When you feel weak, lean into His strength. When you feel lost, seek His guidance. When you feel burdened, lay your troubles at His feet. Every challenge you face is an opportunity for growth. Every obstacle is a chance to deepen your faith. Every problem is an invitation to trust God more fully. And every step you take in faith brings you closer to the life He has planned for you. A life filled with peace, joy, and fulfillment. So, as you leave this place today, carry this message in your heart. God is ready to work it out for you. Just leave it to Him. Trust Him with your whole heart. Let go of your worries and embrace His peace. Surrender your fears and receive His strength. Place your problems in His hands and watch as He turns them into opportunities for His grace to shine. You are beloved. You are precious. And you are in the care of the Almighty God. He knows your every need. He hears your every prayer and He is working all things together for your good. Trust in His timing, rely on His promises, and walk in His love. Beloved, let's make a commitment together. Let's commit to living a life of trust and surrender, a life that honors God by leaving our problems in His capable hands. Let's encourage one another, support one another, and remind each other of God's faithfulness. My friends, I want you to hold on to some powerful truths from God's Word. These promises are not just ancient words on a page. They are living, breathing assurances from our Heavenly Father, meant to comfort, guide, and strengthen us. Let's start with Jeremiah 29, 11, where God says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God's plans for you are filled with hope and a future. Even when you can't see the way forward, God already has a path laid out for you. Trust in His perfect plan and know that He is working all things together for your good. Isaiah 41 10 gives us comfort with these words, so do not fear. For I am with you, do not be dismayed. For I am your God, I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. In moments of fear and dismay, 
Hold on to this promise. God is with you, strengthening and helping you. His righteous right hand is upholding you, ensuring that you are never alone. Psalm 55, 22 invites us to cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. God invites you to cast all your cares upon him. He will sustain you through every trial and challenge. You are righteous in his eyes and he will never allow you to be shaken. Psalm 46, one reassures us that God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. This verse is a beautiful reminder that God is always present, especially in times of trouble. When you feel overwhelmed, run to Him. He is your safe haven, your source of strength, and your constant companion. As you reflect on these verses, let them speak to your heart. Let them remind you of God's unwavering faithfulness and His commitment to working everything out for your good. His Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, guiding us through every season of life. Take these promises with you as you navigate the days ahead. Let them be your anchor in the storm, your comfort in times of distress, and your source of hope in moments of doubt. God's Word is alive and active, powerful enough to transform your life and renew your spirit. Now, let's close this time together with prayer, anchoring ourselves in the truth of God's promises. Dear Lord, we lift up to you our concerns, our fears, and our uncertainties. You know each of us intimately, and you understand the struggles we face. We ask for your guidance and strength to navigate through these difficult times. Lord, we pray for healing, physical, emotional, and spiritual. We know that you are the ultimate healer, and we ask for your touch upon our lives. Bring comfort to those who are suffering, peace to those in pain, and restoration to those who are broken. Father, we also bring our financial struggles before you. You are the provider of all our needs, and we trust in your provision. Help us to manage our finances wisely, to find opportunities for work and income, and to experience breakthrough in our financial situations. Open doors that no one can shut and bless the work of our hands. Lord, we seek breakthrough in areas where we feel stuck and hopeless. You are the God of breakthroughs, and nothing is impossible for you. Break down the barriers that hold us back remove obstacles in our paths, and lead us into new seasons of growth and abundance. We thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers and for your faithfulness to answer them according to your perfect will. Strengthen our faith, increase our trust in you, and remind us daily of your unfailing love. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen.